What are you doing to stop nurses go to Australia? That's what I said. So that's a challenge. Um, and interestingly, the internationally qualified nurses, a large number of them actually move on to uh, Australia, mm. uh, even though we've had a large number of IQNs come in in this, uh, this last quarter. Yeah, they arrive here and then they immediately register well, in Aussie, right? Yeah, some don't even come here. Uh, they register from the UK and don't actually set foot in New Zealand. They, they go straight there. So what yeah. do you do to stop that? Um, I've been talking with the Nursing Council about that, and uh, that's a challenge, how we're a stepping stone to Australia. They are the internationally qualified nurses. Maybe our greater attention should be for our domestic nurses, where we've all had investment in them. Mm. and they're the ones who are looking to move to Australia. So how do you keep them here? So that's a feature of retention. Retention has two parts to it. It has a wages and salary part and it has a terms and conditions part. Now, that's an answer. He actually he actually gave the answer. You know, there's the, there's the conditions and there's the pay. Now, he doesn't quite go mm. in depth enough about the pay, but like I said, Clint, we'll keep watching for another 40 seconds. So he was giving answers. It was quite refreshing. Yep. Didn't mean I like the answers, but he was giving them. So interesting. Mm. Uh, terms and conditions are things like a scope extension, mm. feeling valued in your job, a career over a lifetime. Those are some CCDM, those are some of the terms and conditions. Mm. And then, of course, wages and salary, pay equity and pay parity, of course, is so, a feature of So, what are you improving? What are we, we're improving all of these areas because what you're improving saying, pay? Uh, I'm not going to discuss specific pay yeah. negotiations, so but what I will say improving is all of these that areas. wages have increased by, uh, for nurses by 14% yeah. uh, over the recent past. Uh, still not comparable with Australia, I, I understand that, mm. but uh, that has already improved. We've got more nurse practitioners funded to come into the workplace as well. Right. Scope extension. So there you go. Now, a couple of things there. Of course, uh, nurses' wages have increased by 14% over recent times. Just remind me, first. just just remind me who, <laughs> so that means who's responsible for those increases? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is, so So he's selling this point about with well, the increase that has gone, like it's a good thing, but I just, yeah. I can't, I can't remember who was the one that, oh, it was Labour, wasn't it? It was Labour. So the, <laughs> the Labour that apparently ruined the health system, he's now saying, well, you know, wages have gone up 14% over recent times, but you know. Other than not getting into the finer details about saying whether it's going to be a 20% pay, he answered the questions much, much to the shock of many people, Clint. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he did. And, you know, he actually gave, like, proper analysis of what drives what people to stay or leave New Zealand, yeah. wages and conditions. You know, not, not these airy-fairy ideas that um, you'll hear from a lot of, uh, right-wing politicians because they don't want to admit that it's wages is fundamentally what drives people overseas but having admitted that fundamentally it's wages and conditions he can't say and we're going to improve wages and conditions because the very spare cent that the government can find is going into tax cuts so he knows what the problem is but he can't afford to fix it because it's all and, going on tax. and this is what we noticed last week what we've what we finally realized i guess it's so blatantly obvious that what's happening in this government is they are identifying the problem yeah mm -hmm. but then they either won't or can't do anything to solve it so they say the first half of the sentence and not mm -hmm. the second half i mean seymour's perfect he's identifying lots of issues that are actually issues but he's offering no solutions at all and 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 you know he said paying conditions and being silly you know if nurses were paid a million bucks a year we'd have all new zealand nurses in new zealand and every international nurse wanted to come here if we were paying them a dollar a year we'd have none the question is where is that line between those two numbers to keep them here rather than going to australia and it's probably 20 30 grand more a year yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's not magic eh? people want to um they have a, have a good wage and they and it's hard to sit here and go why don't i go across the ditch it's just across the ditch it's just aussie it's pretty hard to argue oh, i'll stay here and earn less money thanks yeah and the same was being said last week for the police and what do they say um a six-year social worker earned twenty two thousand dollars more per annum than a six-year police officer six-year police officer when you hear those kind of numbers you know, I mean, we were taking the piss a bit last week, Clint, going, well, that's easy. You just reduce the uh, social workers by $22,000 and then you've got parity. Yay. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. obviously taking the piss. But, um, mm. yeah, it's, it's. I, I just, I mean, the answer is money. The answer is yeah. money. Uh, Be because everything uh, flows from that. Whether it's, I have to go, I have to move home with mum and dad, even though I'm a police officer, because I don't have enough money. It's all, that's the answer for everything. I'm sorry. I, I, I did a little bit of mess on the back of, back of an envelope the other day. That 2.9 billion over four years for the landlords 
that's fifteen thousand dollars if it, um per uh, teacher nurse doctor policeman defense force member they could all get fifteen thousand wow. dollars over four years rather than uh, the landlords getting the money you know wow. that, that's how much it is yeah. two hundred thousand in the wider public sector and they could each get fifteen thousand dollars but no gotta go to landlords mm-hmm.